and welcome back to AP Tech tutorial. In this short video, I will show you how you can edit a PDF. It's very straightforward and I will show you in the uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, version. Uh, I remind you that uh, in order for you to edit or uh, convert a PDF, for example, into a Word format, you will need the Adobe Acrobat license. It's a paid license. Uh, uh, that you will have to uh, uh, purchase uh, from Adobe. There are new versions of Adobe Acrobat out there, but I'm just going to illustrate this video uh, using the Adobe Acrobat, uh, Acrobat version 11. Okay, as you can see here uh, uh, in this menu. So um, without further ado, let me just jump into it. Uh, as you can see uh, in this particular version, uh, in this taskbar here, you will see there is a work, uh, there is a, um, there is a, a link to a tool, so you, when you click on it, this uh, th this menu will display it on the right side, and one of these menu is Edit Text and Images. Okay, so when you click on Edit Text and Images, uh, you will see that uh, this portion of the uh, of the document will change into little boxes that you will be able to uh, um, you know uh, modify to edit. Uh, let's say, for example, I just want to change the word collection limitation. I'm just gonna, uh, uh, I'm just gonna call it uh, test uh, collection test principle. And not only am I going to do that, I'm just going to also going to change the uh, the 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 color of that font. Uh, in order for me to do that, I will need to click on this particular uh, icon here and then select the red button so you can see it. See, that's a test that I that I change. That that's about it. It's very straightforward. Uh, here below here you also have other formatting options which I'm just not going to go into details but uh, you can uh, you, you know you can try it for yourself uh, sometimes I've noticed that uh, the tests that you bring in uh, does not necessarily have the type of phone that, that you need and if that ever happens to you all you need to do is uh, select here if you want to use another font uh, you drop down this uh, menu here and then let's say I'm just going to use uh, belt MT and I'm just going to type this is uh, tests, right? You see how the font change. Now, if I want to change it back to Arial, I just go back here and look for area and change it back to Arial. All right. Like every, everything else. Uh, if I want to do italics, I just click on this link here. You see it turns into italic. If I want to on the line, I just click on this uh, little icon here and I will, uh, it, it will on the line the tests. Okay, so I will just revert these changes for you to see them again. I'm going to change this into, into a different color. I'm just going to turn it into red, all right? And I'm going to highlight it, okay, just for this exercise. Now, when, you, when you're when done doing this, uh, you just click on uh, uh, Save, and, uh, you, you know, uh, and that, that's basically it. Um, you can also add tests uh, to this document if you want. Um, let's say, for example, you want to put something here on the top. Uh, just click on this link here and then create a new field and this is where you type a test okay this is a test now uh, as you can see the font does not correspond to the font that I have here right so what I'll do is I'll change it as I show you I'll come here and then I change it into Arial okay and that's about it uh, it's very straightforward uh, how this is done and all you have to do is uh, save at the end and that's about it. So uh, there's other uh, formats that you can export this file to if you want. Uh, I'm just going to show you the Word document, which is, is usually the most uh, used one. Um, uh, if you look here on the, this menu here on the side, it says export the file to. If you click here, you'll have several options. Um, I'm just going to export it to a Microsoft Word document and look what's up, what happens. So I'm just going to name the, I'm just going to give it the same name, right? And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Okay. Just going to go and save the file and look what happens uh, when the, it take, it'll take a few seconds just to convert the file, depending on the length of the file. It'll take, if you have many pages, it will take a little longer, but that usually takes a few seconds because it's, this is a, just one page. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go back and, and pull that uh, uh, file from the um, from the desktop where I saved it. And uh, and here, if I if I just pull it, this is the file that I just converted word format, as you can see here. And uh, I can, you know, I can, you know, modify the file 
uh, if I want to, uh, etc. Et all right. So um, that's basically, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what I wanted to show you. Also, uh, if you want to insert a PDF within that same document, uh, let me let me show you how it's done. Uh, you can also import an image. Let's say, for example, you go back to Tools and you're going to add an image. Uh, you just navigate to the image. Uh, this is the image that I'm going to insert, and I'm just going to put it right here. Uh, and, and then, of course, I'm just going to adjust it because this image is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, too big for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put the image here on the top. And then you save the document and that's it. That's how you do it. It's very easy. There's other menu options here, which I'm not going to present now. I'll probably uh, add a diff uh, another video uh, for test recognition uh, and complete inform, which is very useful as well. Uh, these are very useful menus and tools that you can use with a PDF. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have uh, yourself a great day.